That's great. Okay, so before we do anything else, I have a couple of soldier requests. A couple of soldier name requests. I must call one Yummy Buttons, and I must call one Super Cthulhu after Super Cthulhu, who is a friend of mine. Um, first we can figure out who's actually going on the the mission. Presumably we should take like our best guys. Ah, we did whatever. Uh, it's probably not them. Probably not them. And we'll seem to figure out uh, for like the size strength what we want to do. I'm thinking we actually just bring along a bunch of low psi people as dummies so that they intentionally get focus fired. Like Han Solo, he can't afford to have a real gun, he's just gonna shoot people with it, so I might just bring him along as a dummy. And like, I won't try too hard to save anyone with a size strength below 40 or so if something really bad happens. Um... Alright, so we have a 4, I'm just looking for the really low ones, a 4, a 15, 18, 3 dummies, is that enough? Hmm... Maybe. Uh, in any case, I think that squad will do. And I have to name my dudes. It's a lot of people with out uh, custom names. <laughs> I need to keep the 28 actually. But uh, here's Yummy Buttons. 28 size strength. Did I do that right? This looks weird when it's in this font. Yeah, I think that's right. It's normal spelling, yummy buttons, yep. And... Lowercase Super Cthulhu. Yes, I think I spelled that correctly. Perfect. Uh, check their armor. Make sure everyone's got flying suits, some of them don't, which is good that I checked. Uh, and that's flying suits everyone, alright. Now here's the interesting, oh shit I haven't finished heavy plasmas. That's fine, we, we can go without the heavy plasmas unless they're nearly done, I'll just check. No, they're not close to done at all, because I forgot to assign scientists this entire time. So I did forget something in the last stream, I forgot to use the scientists. It's okay, we'll just use lasers. I'm pretty sure I have a stockpile of... Maybe five was yes, okay. Um, you know what? Because I have a stockpile already, let's actually try to finish that research before we go. Apparently I can't count, there we go. And I want that blaster launcher as well. Alright, so we'll just pump people into this research. Mm. If there's anything else, I might just let it slide, but for a retaliation ship, I don't really want it to stay alive. So let's just power through while we wait for that research. Harvest, we'll ignore that. Retaliation North America is bad. What's this one? Harvest. Um. Oh, it's not. Not quite on, on track to actually find us. Okay. Research Australia, ignore. Oh. Another retaliation. Oh dear, that's actually on track. Oh dear. 
Alright, let's quickly go to Africa and make sure everyone has armor. Power suit, power suit. Power suits for most people. Give guns. Yes, you have guns, medkits, smoke grenades, prox grenades, and you have two tanks, that's good. Alright. Well, no, nope, it missed. <laughs> he got stressed out for nothing. Alright. Research. You can do that, sure. Retaliation. Oh, I need to shoot the retaliation down. Uh, that's in zero. And just just waiting around, real exciting. Retaliation. Oh Jesus! This one might actually be finding us. Two in a row, both going top speed. Hang on, it's it's not finding us. What the hell? Why did it send? Why did they send two battleships in a row, going top speed, to the same place within a very short period of time? If they didn't actually know where we were, that's interesting. And there's a third one, for some reason. Holy shit, they hit us. I don't really want to get the Avengers shot at. Not to the point where it's gonna nearly die. I hope I don't have to do a base defense before this research comes through. That would be pretty bad. Holy shit. So much stuff. So many battleships, like what? They're really pissed at us. I haven't even been going to the crash sites in the last, I don't know, month or something. Research or retaliation Europe. I just want to keep an eye on this one. Ah, uh, well, guess we're doing a base defense before we go to Mars. <sighs> I so wanted to have this just be a two hour stream and the game would be done, but now it might not be that way. Uh, God damn it. At least people have power armor and stuff, so... I don't actually want everyone to have a grenade in hand. Because... Uh, laser rifles are two-handed weapons. And if you have something in the other hand, you lose accuracy. So maybe just add a few people. What's my base layout? Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty okay. Um, because oh, the sectoids. That's that's sort of neither here nor there. Oh, tanks seem better days. Um, I'm thinking because I don't care about the loot that comes from this mission. I might just use proximity grenades for like the first time on stream. Um, I used to use prox grenades more often on a, like a modded version, a lightly modded version of, um, just the Windows version of XCOM, but the reason I did that was because there was a mod, like, well, the mod that I used, which was UFO Extender, I think it was called, um, there was a way to turn off, uh, explosions destroying stuff on the ground. I think. I think that's why I used to use prox grenades. Um, geez, that uses a lot. Plus everyone's a rookie so they have no time units. But uh, yeah, so usually if you put a prox grenade like let's say here, and he activates it, great, he explodes, maybe he dies, maybe he doesn't, but the next guy that comes out and activates a second grenade, if you throw a second one down, it's going to destroy all the equipment that's on the ground there, which is not great. Is there anyone upstairs? Yes, one person. 
and a few more in other places. This is cool though, these are the uh, workshops. Living quarters, more workshops, because this is just a manufacturing base, there's not much here. I assume this is a hyperwave decoder. Looks pretty weird. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to walk out through the smoke and then hop back in. Um, primed? It is now. Okay. I think away from the door might be better than. Like in these alcoves here where there's no door, I think that might be better than using a door. Um. Whoa, what just happened? What? Are you pressing the wrong button? Okay, I am. I was pressing shift instead of control. Wow, they have no stamina. I can't make them sprint. Control for sprint, but. <laughs> he basically can't move for the next couple turns because he has no energy. Mm. Smart thing to do would be to start moving people vaguely towards the area, so I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I've just come from playing Civ where, you know, when you, when you tell someone to move somewhere and they can't make it, they'll just go their next turn. XCOM is not quite that intelligent. But I guess it's also a different uh, use case. The tactical... Uh, what word am I looking for? The tactical... Sort of like implication, but not quite. I'm not sure what word. Um, of having your guys keep moving the next turn is not always what you want in XCOM. So it, I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's just kind of lame having to move everyone. One more person upstairs. <laughs> Instead of using the stairs, you just float it down. Um, okay. He just walked up to me. How things kind of open doors without actually going through them. Uh, this guy has a pistol, so that's good. I'll just get the tank to shoot the guy in front. Uh, so that I don't risk anything. Um, then these guys can check out our dear friend the sectoid. And let's get the proximity grenades ready. Or next turn, I guess. Uh, you will need to get over here because of the, you have the proximity grenade. I want to start using them here, and then I'll transition to using them here. I think. Brian, oh shit! It didn't actually mean. To, oh shit! Well. Mm. Bye. Ugh. I I hate that sound. Let's hope these guys will be okay. And people who are close by move slightly closer. People who are not as close by also move slightly closer. Uh, if I keep them a little bit separated, I can avoid having them all die in a grenade. It's like a single grenade explosion. I think numerically we're about par. Like XCOM agents versus um, aliens. But I don't really want to take as much time as the last base defense. 
Nice. No. Nope. There's the Psy. See, I don't, I don't want to play quite as... Please don't run into them. Oh god. Please don't run into them. Uh, so, so. Hello. Uh, holy shit, I think that's a blaster. I was just gonna not shoot him. But I think I have to if it's a blaster. <laughs> You guys will find out why once we're on Mars. I keep pressing shift instead of control, because shift makes a lot more sense for sprinting. Because that's the standard thing to do. Oh well. Everyone, move forward slightly. Um, and as people approach, I'll just sort of get them to get their prox grenades ready. Anyone else? One. And no one's upstairs, right? Yep. Perfect. Boom. Where's my boom? There we go. Yeah, proximity guy is really convenient for this sort of situation if you don't care about the loot. Um, and also if you don't care about the guy that's standing right there, who's probably going to die. What? How did... I think we just activated another proximity grenade, but I don't remember putting a second one down. Maybe I'm having a short-term memory loss. <laughs> Explosions! Oh. I actually thought that would kill us, but sure, why not? I will take a non-lethal situation for free. Uh, you're still panicking. So that's not great. No, don't move there. Oh, they're starting to panic, jeez. I must have killed more than I thought. Ah, uh, one got mind controlled. <laughs> he threw a smoke grenade at us because I don't give my guys normal grenades. <laughs> that was pretty great. Uh, can't throw through our friend. Kabam! I press shift again. Okay, proximity grenades might be a bigger boom than I thought. I was expecting them to maybe kill the guy that steps on it and then probably not kill anyone else. But it looks like we're definitely killing the guy that steps on it and we're almost always killing someone else as well, which is great. Sectoid leader. Party time. He's probably dead. I didn't see anything there, which I guess is good. Next proximity grenade. Uh, sprint halfway. Do you have time units to throw? Not throw through a friend, that's fine. Just... I don't know what to do now. You don't have enough time units to run anywhere. Just cross your fingers. <laughs> oh, that worked. I could totally write a whole article on why you should use proximity grenades in a base defense. <laughs> but I probably won't. Just hide in the corner, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know where his gun is, I don't even know if it still exists. He might have been exploded. Um, you guys can pocket your smoke grenades and just take out your proximity grenades. Uh, where is the fastest way to pocket? Leg? That used eight. Maybe. I don't want them on the ground because they're primed. 
but usually it's just faster to, you know, chuck it on the ground than... Oh, there's someone there. Right. Yeah, when you want to just get rid of something, it's faster to just chuck it on the ground than to, you know, put it in your pocket. Um... Throw. Sprint away. Okay. I didn't see that coming. I guess she was lethally wounded. It's a good thing this is a secondary random base where I don't care about it and we're going to Mars anyway so I have even less reasons to get than normal. Okay, now it's a bit of a waiting game. Just have to wait until they step on my proximity grenade. Why are you still panicking, man? It's been like five turns. Okay, that one exploded and it didn't kill anything. Yes, it's a cyber disc, okay. That makes sense. I think we can kill it. There we go. And there's no one behind it. Because there's no, you know, alien screams. Still more aliens though, just not many. And back to the waiting game. Oh, it's another side disc. That's not a good place for it to explode, yeah. Well, we only lost two guys and it was pretty quick. Alright, back to waiting. <laughs> uh, you can research, you can harvest, you can harvest, you can abduct, you can make a base. Uh, we don't need any more money, we have 50 million dollars. You can supply, you can base, you can base, you can base, you can base, you can abduct. Oh fuck. I have to shoot this one down, otherwise they're gonna do a terror mission. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on researchers. Finish researching the guns. Oh, I so wish I could go back in time and just make them do it earlier. They're still on unknown for the heavy plasma and the blaster launcher. Oh man, all of the countries are going to be so pissed at the end of this month because I am not doing anything about basically any of the aliens. I think they're infiltrating in North America. At this stage, I don't even care about the retaliations. I just, I just want to go to Mars, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me go to Fuck! Just trying to go to Mars, man. Leave me alone.